Hello everyone and welcome back to Extra Inch Education. Today we will learn how to use Microsoft Power BI. Power BI is very powerful to get insights from your data. It will help us to visualize report from our data to make a good looking dashboards and summaries for our performance. This is very powerful tool don't go away and keep watching. First, we are going to learn how we can download and install Power BI. To do that we're going to following Microsoft website, which you will find at the description of this video. You can just click the link direct, and it will navigate you to this page. The way I would recommend install Power BI is clicking on the download free button, which will open the Microsoft store on the Power BI download page. This text here will say get and once you've installed it, you'll be able to launch it. Downloading Power BI desktop is entirely free. Anyone can download Power BI Desktop. So, you don't have to be the admin logged onto your machine, any user to go ahead and install Power BI Desktop. Now after launching Power BI, we could pin it to our taskbar for quick access in the future. When you launch Power BI for the first time, you'll see this welcome screen appear. Here in the top left-hand corner, you will see Get Data which is the very important to get the required data which we want to visualize. Next you will see Recent Sources, so these are any other data sources that you've used in the past for quick access. And down at the bottom, if you've ever used Power BI before, you'll also be able to get back to reports that you've created. At the right-hand side Power BI, you will find a bunch of training content and tutorials on how to use Power BI. Now I have prepared this example to run through for my company selling report for the past year to show you how we could analyze some of our sales data. Taking a preview of what the data looks like is very important, so we know what we're working with before we import to Power BI. This Excel spreadsheet contains a bunch of data in Excel. I have a bunch of products orders and its price and profit data. First, I have my order ID numbers along with order dates and customer IDs of different countries. Those orders have been carried out by different sales presentative. So, I have as well the zones and shipment dates listed in different columns. Then I also have the product's names which have been sold along with its prices, quantities, and revenues for each one. I'm also going to pull in one other source of data into Power BI as well, and it's going to come from the web. There's a Wikipedia article here that lists out countries and the tax revenue by the country. For my analysis and Power BI, I want to show all the countries where we have locations, and I also want to align at each country tax. I will leave this Wikipedia URL in the description of this video for you to follow along with this example. Now after having a clear idea for the type of data, let's go ahead click on Get Data. This brings up the Get Data dialog with an exhaustive list of places where you can get data from. You could get data from the web or from many different resources. If you have data somewhere, you'll be able to pull it into Power BI. For now, we're going to use a spreadsheet and it's an Excel spreadsheet. So, I'll click on Excel and then click on Connect. This brings up the file picker and I see the file here on Data Folder. Click on Open this brings up the Data Navigator and I see my spreadsheet right here. And within the spreadsheet it detected Sheet 1. So, I'm going ahead and check the box for Sales Report and then I see all my data over here on the right hand side. If I just wanted to continue at this point, I could go ahead and click on Load and that would bring it into Power BI. However, I want to transform the data first. Now you might be wondering well what does transform data mean? This allows me to modify my data and select what data I want before I bring it into Power BI. So, let's go ahead and click on transform data, and I'll show you some of the changes I want to make. Once the Power Query Editor opens, we will be able to transform our data. So, let me show you what I mean. So here you see the spreadsheet view again, and I want to make a few different changes. We have a bunch of different products we sell at our company. However, we've decided to cut product F from our report. So, I want to remove it from this analysis, so I'm going to go ahead now and uncheck product F, and then click on OK. So now by doing these changes I'm starting to transform the data. Next, we look over at revenues you'll see that we also have some decimals here and I want to eliminate decimals from the data analysis that we're going to do. And so, 
I'm going to click on the revenue column, we're going to right click on it, and then I want to click on change type, and I'm going to go ahead and make all these just whole numbers. Next, I want to change the title of this column here. Instead of saying shipped, we are going to just double click on this column header, and we're going to call this column shipment date. Now, as I go through and I make all these changes over on the right hand side you'll see this section called applied step. These are all the different transformations I'm making to the data so let's say that maybe I made a change, and I didn't really intend to make that changing. We can remove that step. So here is an example you see this filtered row if I click in here, I could see what I filtered here. I filtered out product F, on second thought I don't want to eliminate product F. Let me go ahead and keep it, so what I could do is I could click this X, and then I could delete that step and that will remove that transformation to my data. Now, once I feel good about my data, and I'm ready to bring this into Power BI. One thing I want to do though before I bring this data in is, I also wanted to bring in tax revenue for those different countries. To do that I'm going to go up to the top ribbon, and I'm going to click on new source, and this data is coming from the web. Now once again I could click on more, and that'll bring up the same data source dialog that we saw earlier. But I also see web highlighted here, so I'm going to click here, because that's easier to pull this up the from web dialog. And what I'm going to do here is it asks me for the URL, so I'm going to go ahead and paste the Wikipedia site URL within here, and once I paste it in, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Like before this also brings up the navigator, and here I can see all the different elements that are on the Wikipedia page. I'm going to click on this first, and here I see the data of all countries with related taxes information. And this is exactly what I want now. Once I'm satisfied with this table, and everything looks good, I'm going to click on OK over on the left hand side. Now you see that I have two different queries one of them is my sales report, and the other one is the Wikipedia article. So, I'm going to right click on this, and give it a name that makes more sense. And here within this table I don't need all this data so like before I'm also going to transform the data that appears here. For instance, I don't need all those columns here. Either all I want is the country name and tax revenue. Now for our sales report we only have locations in a few of these countries, so I don't need to bring all this data in for all these different places. So once again I'm going to transform the data even more. Now for our sales report we only have locations in a few of these countries, so I don't need to bring all this data in for all these different places. So once again I'm going to transform the data even more. So, I'm going to click on this drop down, and I'm going to filter it down to only the countries I have in my sales report. So, I'm going to type in Algeria, Brazil, China, Greece, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and finally, United States. Once I enter in all my different countries where we have locations, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, and here I see the 8 countries where we have locations. The next thing that I want to do is I want to connect this data here or this table with my sales report. Right now, they're both independent tables, and I want to be able to associate the two of them, or to join them, and to do that I'm going to click into the sales report, and going to go up to merge queries, and I want to connect it based on the country name. So, I'm going to select the country name here, and my sales report data. And then in my tax revenue, I'm going to connect it based on the country name. Then it asks me about privacy, I'm going to ignore privacy checks for now. And now it looks like almost all rows in my sales report table has a match with tax revenue, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK over on the right hand side. Now, you've seen our sales report. It's added a column, let me go ahead and click on this filter option, and I want to see the tax revenue. So, I'm going to click on OK. And now here for every row within the sales report data we see a tax revenue associated with that country. So, I brought in my spreadsheet data from Wikipedia, and I connected the Wikipedia data to my sales report. And now we are satisfied and don't want to make any other changes. And the next thing I do now is over here in the top left hand corner let's click on close and apply. Now that we've created our data models. 
Power BI drops us on a blank canvas, and I want to take a moment to walk through and orient you to where we are right now. Here in the center of the page, this big blank area is called the report editor. This is where we're going to create all our visuals like charts or tables, or even maps. Over on the right-hand side these are all our fields. You'll recognize the sales report, and then all our columns appear within here. And similarly, we have another table for the country's tax revenue. Basically, it's all the data that we have, and that we can build visuals off. Here another pane called visuals. These are all the different types of visuals we can build using the data over in fields or from this pane. On the left-hand side over here, the first view and the default view that we drop in is the report view. This is where we're going to build all our visuals. Underneath that you have another option for data. And if I click on that you'll see of my data we imported to Power BI in the same type of view as what we saw in the spreadsheet earlier. And it's all been transformed based on the earlier steps. On the right-hand side I can see my fields again, and I could jump between the different data or underlying data that I have here in Power BI. Then over on the left-hand side there's a third option called Model. These are all my different relationships between my data. When I hover over this line you see that I related or joined these tables based on the country name. Now let's go back and click into Report, and let's go ahead and start building some visualizations to help us. Make decisions based on our business data. The first thing I want to do is I have this blank canvas, canvas, and I should give a little bit of context when people look at this report. So, when I click on the home option on the ribbon, there's an option to insert a text box. I'm going to click on that and let me insert a title for this report. Make it little, larger. And expand it little bit. So, we have the title on here. Things are looking good, but we need to get some visualizations and now, the first thing I want to look at is what was our revenue by date. So, to get the revenue by date I'm going to go over to the right-hand pane. And I'm simply going to click on revenue. Now Power BI pulls in a default bar chart. It predicted that this was the most likely one that I wanted to use. We could still change that though if it doesn't align exactly with what we wanted to create. And I also want to line it up with the date. So, I'm also going to click on date over here within the fields pane. Now I see it shows it by year. Now let's say that I want to see the revenue data not by year, but I want to see it by the order day. So, what I could do is I'm going to click on the order date and on this drop down, and instead of doing date hierarchy, I'm going to switch it to order dates. Now I can convert this to analysis to a line chart. And to do that I simply go up here in the visualizations pane, and I can click on line chart, and that will switch the type of this chart. Now this looks pretty good I'm going to go ahead and adjust its size. So here now I could see my revenue by date. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a view of all the geographies where we have locations. And I also want to see the revenue by those geographies. To do that first off, I'm going to click on country. Now here 2 Power BI identifies that it's country data and it automatically inserts the map visualization and here. Now I see dots where I have locations. But I want to see revenue data by those different countries. And so here too what I could do is I'm going to click on revenue. And now I see visuals that represent how much revenue by country based on dot size indication. I could also switch the type of view. I could switch it to a tree map. And here I could see revenue by country this way as well. So here once again I could see which country had the most revenue all the way down to which country had the least. I'm going to switch back to the map view. The next thing I want to do is insert a table that'll show me the country, and then the tax revenue for that country. So here I'm going to click on table. This will insert a table. Now when I click on the visualization first without selecting any of the data it'll simply insert a blank table. Now I will pull countries up here, I could easily drag and drop things around to organize my report, how I see fit. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in the country, so here I have a field for countries. Let's go ahead and drop that in. And then I also want to pull in the tax revenue. The next thing I want to do is pull the revenue to the table. 
The last thing I want to do is insert a bar chart. And for the bar chart I want to look at units prices and products names. And here I'm going to click on unit prices and next I want to click on the, prod the products. So here I can see each product and its unit price. The last thing to see is that it's very easy to slice the data. So here I can bring in a slicer. I'm going to insert that. And then I'm going to drag and drop the country name on the slicer. So here if I just want to view data for any country, I can click on it, and you'll see that all the visuals now adjust to reflect just that country. Similarly, I could click on next country, and that'll shift to it. And I could go through and slice my data by country so very quickly I could see my information. Now let me go ahead and show you how we could change this report theme. If I go up to the ribbon, and I click on View under themes I have all these different themes that I can apply. Now maybe the bloom theme would be a Nice one. So, let me click on bloom and here you'll notice that the colors changed. I could also adjust the look of my different visuals that I have within this report. So, if I click on the visual over here under visualizations, the initial view is the field view, but here I could click on format it kind of looks like a paint roller, and if I click into that I could adjust all these different elements of the visual for instance let's say I wanted to make the title a little bit bigger I could click on title, and then I could go ahead and increase the text size. As well all in all with these different tools that you have under the format tool. You could go ahead and get the visuals to match your brand. Now, if we wanted to add say additional pages to my report. I could also go in and I could add more pages. I could also go ahead and rename this page if I wanted to. Once I'm done making all my edits I want to go ahead and save this. And to save it I'm going to click on file. Save as. I'll save a copy on this folder here and then click on save. Now I could use this on my own just fine. I could analyze the data. I could create different views on my data. The power of Power BI comes from being able to work with others and being able to publish reports so other people can see it and other people can interact with the different views that you created. Now, since I am not logged in a Microsoft account, I will just show you the way to share the report with others. First, we need to publish it so let's go up to the file menu. We're going to go down to publish, and then we're going to publish to Power BI. So, I'm going to go ahead, let's click on Power BI and it says do you want to save your changes. I'll go ahead and save the changes again before I publish. And then it asks me to choose a destination. And that where I will stop at this tutorial, and we will continue at next videos. Alright, well that was a quick look at how you can get started using Power BI. Once again that was a high level overview. If you want to see more like this video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.